Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I am JD. And I'm Anjali. I know you guys, people have written, you know, where have you been? We're wondering about Mm -hmm. you. Yeah. I think we started to get really get overwhelmed with doing the videos and work and school got was getting away from us so we started focusing more on school and work and kind of paused the videos for a little while and um and then and then this coronavirus started coming mm -hmm. into the u.s yeah and we had done way back in january when it started in china and wuhan and Mm -hmm. you know india india yeah was uh, bringing their families and um, you know, we were watching the, the nurse, she couldn't hug her daughter and we were yeah. all like, mm-hmm. this is terrible. And, you know, it, we were, you know, praying for everybody and now but we never really thought it would come here. No, is now like a worldwide thing. Yeah. And we have been in lockdown for the last three weeks. It's been three weeks. It's been three weeks before all this happened. You know, my husband has been on the you know catching up with all the news and he's like it's coming they're gonna shut down the schools they're gonna shut down the the stores we need to prepare because this actually might be coming yeah the as my husband calls it the apocalypse is coming (laughs) so we did shopping right Mm Jaden? we went and got a freezer, a big deep freezer. A big, a big, big one. Freezer. And we tried to fill it with stuff that we knew would last a long time, that we could eat. We got for a long bunch of like of cabinet stuff, like noodles and noodles, pasta, rice, beans. Mm-hmm. We have diapers and extra clothes, and then Nana brought some of her stuff um, over, and her kitty cats are hanging out way back there. But, like I said, we went and got a big cooler. We got extra dog food and treats, toilet paper, waters, juice. So in our freezer here, it's actually pretty big. Um, You can see we got pizza and bread, bagels and milk. We tried to get a little bit extra in the last few weeks before the shutdown really happened. Try not to overdo it like some people, I guess, did. Um, things we could survive on. And I can show you inside the trunk here now that my thing's a little bit clearer. But more noodles. Mostly lots of pasta and rice that would last a while. And um, some potatoes. We're actually thinking about starting our garden back up. Um, growing some potatoes in it and maybe some tomatoes and a few other things. So hopefully, um, you know, you get used to going to the store and buying stuff. And now, who knows how long they're going to keep the stores open and if there's going to be food in them. Um, So we're just trying to prepare for the worst and hope for the best, right? The one thing, like my husband grew up on the farm. He's so used to being Mm self-sufficient. Here you get used to driving to the store to get all of your fruits and vegetables that come from the truck, that come from the farm far away, or from another country in some cases. And so, you know, getting back to trying to be a little bit more self-reliant and, you know, like now we've been here three weeks. Now my husband is still working and he's going outside but he's limiting it to work and home and if he really has to to the, go to the store if we mm-hmm. need something but we're really trying the mm-hmm. the cases have been going up in the u.s mm-hmm. and deaths have been going up um it's it's serious it's not a joke yeah. i sometimes see people out in our neighborhood that are kind of hanging around and as much as they're social distancing i think it's not worth it like everything that's coming out now was like six feet now it's like 23 Another thing feet is like, they have cell phones <laughs> You can text each other. You could call each other. I mean, I know people want to get outside and fresh air, but, mm-hmm. you know, the the virus now can fly farther than six feet. It can be on packages. This has become something I've never seen in my lifetime. No. My mom is 79 years old. She's never heard of anything like this. Where and you are, we have never heard of anything You guys are like young, this. but never ever had anything like this happen in no. in i don't know hundreds of years probably mm-hmm. it's just crazy oh, thousands. it's one of those things we mo- know modi said 
there's lockdown for three weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do it. Don't, this is not a joke. People are dying left and right. U.S. Mm -hmm. has the most cases than anywhere else in the world. And the death tolls are going up every day. Then there's more every every day. It's mm-hmm. it. I, we're hoping at some point it will hit the peak and slowly come back down. I I'm, but keep praying really somebody knows. will find yeah. a cure mm-hmm. that will help people get through it. Another um, thing that Modi said was that if in 21 days if we don't fix this problem, then we're gonna go back 21 years, and that's true. Like we've spent all this time going forward and trying to improve our lives and this coronavirus right. comes up and we're going back right. because of what's going all on. All the things that Modi has put into place, all the great things um, that have been going mm-hmm. on the last few years in India, it's becoming the next big country. Mm-hmm. He is like, if this lockdown, if you don't take this seriously and, and we'll show you what we've been doing, we are taking this seriously. The kids and I, we have not left this house in the last three mm-hmm. weeks. Even going in the backyard, we question doing that or getting the mail. I mean, I literally go down to the mailbox and pick up my mail and I leave it in the basement and I wash my hands when I come upstairs and I try not to touch anything until I wash my hands really good. And I leave the mail and any packages we get down in our basement for at least three days just in case. When my husband came home with groceries, what did we do, Anjali, with all that fruit? We put it all in the basement, basically. Yeah. And Anything. we washed it. Yeah, the fruit we washed with warm, soapy water and rinsed it really good. Mm-hmm. Anything that was in a plastic bag that wasn't perishable sat in the basement for three days. We didn't touch it. And then, even then, I wiped stuff down before I put it away. And then wash my hands again. Yeah. We brought Nana here, right, Jaden? Mm-hmm. Because and she lives in like this pot- old folks home. Yes. And if one of them gets it, because um, if one of those people, one of the old people gets it and they don't know about it, that whole building yeah. is gonna get contaminated. I mean, she. We were worried about her that it it gets so bad that. If she got it and went to the hospital, we would never get to see her. You wouldn't be able to go in her apartment. We wouldn't be able to see her. They would have to cremate her without us seeing her. We wouldn't be able to visit her in the hospital. It's like, this is no joke. And if this continues Mm -hmm. as it goes along, um, this is another reason my husband had us go to the range to learn shooting and to get protection in Mm -hmm. the house. Because he's like, eventually... If this goes for too long, there is going to be a limited number of food around. And if there's not a lot of food and people don't have jobs and they don't have money, people are going to start to do stuff that they wouldn't normally do. And so he's like, we have to protect the family that way. The other thing is, no matter who you are, you know, no matter how much money you have, if you get this virus... There's no, you're, it doesn't matter how young, how old, the, it's young people are dying from it, older people are dying from it, middle-aged people are dying from it, healthy people are dying from it. It's like some people have said it just comes and they've never felt anything as horrible as that ever. So it, you could have a million dollars and the best care in the world and you're not going to survive and you could not and survive it. I just wish somebody would find a cure or some way to control it so that even just like it doesn't something come that back would again. slow it down. We are going to try to get back in the swing yeah. of this a little bit. We wanted to do this because we care mm-hmm. about India. We know that it's coming there too. And we don't want you guys mm-hmm. to not take this seriously. Like mm-hmm. there are people here that are not taking this seriously. And it's not a joke. This Modi like put that not thing girl, in. Basically. If he is delivering food to your door, take it, close the door, and stay in your house. Do not yeah. go anywhere. Your job is not that important. You, If you have food that you can stay in your house for the next three weeks, do it. It's scary. And it we just, this is our way of kind of showing you into the world of the Jan family a little mm-hmm. bit of what's going on during the coronavirus. So we'll give you some updates. Maybe we'll do a school video if you would like. Mm-hmm. We want you to take this seriously. Yeah. Do not leave your house. 
listen to Modi. If you have the food, if he's bringing it to your door, mm -hmm. do what they say because this thing is spreading like wildfire. The U.S. Mm -hmm. is on top of the charts. This is this serious. This virus like, is not a joke. No. no. Like, you need to stay in no matter you like Modi or not. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay safe, stay inside your house. Yeah. All the things you need to do to stay inside, watch lots of YouTube. Mm -hmm. We've got 500 and some odd yes. other videos that we've done. And don't done. forget, six feet away from each other. At least. I hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm glad we're back kind of <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful jan family right next time we yeah we'll see you next time and um stay safe yeah stay, stay safe. safe don't go out of your house and if, unless it's emergency see bye. you next time